Hello. So today, I'm gonna be making some mechs. Now, I'd never really made a pixel art mech before, so this was new ground for me. To begin, I created a new canvas and placed in some faint grey rectangles. These acted as a guide for how big each mech would be. For the first mech, I started with the legs and roughed in an outline. Then I started to shade and detail the legs to get a feel for how the materials would look. I built up the torso and arms. This process was relatively straightforward, but I did have to move the arms around a bit so they wouldn't cover the legs. For the gun, I decided on a red glowing blaster, but later through the process, you'll see me change it. I didn't really like the blocky triangle ahead, as it didn't fit in with the rest of the design. So I swapped it out for a head that was more round. I added a bit of rust, and the first mech was done. The second mech ended up being my least favourite out of the final four. This time around I began with the head and worked my way down. I gave it some bulky arms and started on the torso. From here I constructed the legs and the waist. After weathering my character I decided that he was pretty useless without a gun or something to hold. So I reworked his right arm and gave him a shield. I thought about a second shield but decided against it because I wanted to leave at least one hand showing. For the third mech, I started with the feet. I wanted it to be a four-legged sniper type mech, with the focus on a large gun and four stable legs. An orange paint job seemed to suit it pretty well, so it was just a matter of drawing out the gun. Through the process of making this mech, I fixed the first by giving its paint a brighter coat. I just thought it matched the other two a little better. A touch of rust, and the third mech was complete. For the last one, I wanted to give it a bulkier frame, seeing as the second mech didn't turn out quite right. After building up the torso, I gave the mech some super thick arms. At first, I experimented with hands, but after seeing how they got mixed up with the legs, I scrapped them. I replaced the hands with some drills and gave the robot a head and some blue paint. Finally, I switched out the left drill for a claw. Here's the finished result. The third is definitely my favourite out of the four. I think if I was to do this again, I would make one large mech instead of four small ones. This way I'd be able to add more detail and make it look more impressive at a larger scale. Thanks for watching me go through this process and I hope you enjoyed my first video.